Hello everyone! Yung nakikita niyo pong video dito sa right side ng screen nyo is gumamit pa ako ng phone camera as an external webcam for my live streaming. And to do that, we only need three things. Una is dapat meron tayong smartphone, pangalawa, laptop or desktop with an internet connection para ma-search natin yung obs.ninja. Pangatlo, meron tayong OBS Studio. So don't worry guys kung wala pa kayong installed OBS Studio kasi searchable naman siya sa Google and totally free na madadownload natin. And without any further ado, let's start this tutorial after this short intro. But before that, please make sure to click the subscribe button. So by the way guys, to complete this tutorial, we need to follow 3 simple steps lang naman. But before we proceed, ano nga muna si OBS.ninja? So si OBS.ninja, it lets you bring video from your smartphone, from your computer, or your friends directly into an OBS video stream. And it's a 100% free, no data collection, no downloads, at saka no sign-in needed na rin. So as we already have an idea kung ano si OBS.ninja, we can now proceed sa first step na. Unang step natin is open lang yung browser, type in obs.ninja. And then pag load ng page, meron tayong makikita ang apat na widgets, create a room, add your camera to OBS, remote screen sharing to OBS, at saka create reusable invite. So in this video, gagamitin natin tong create reusable invite. Pag redirect natin dito, makikita natin yung text box. And then dito tayo maglalagay ng media source name. And by the way, optional lang din naman to, so we can leave as is lang or empty yung text box. But for our video, maglalagay tayo ng media source name. So sample camera. And then kung mapapansin nyo dito sa baba, meron pa tayong ibang um, advanced options. So by using these options, um, we can update yung setup settings ng um, video natin. And then, once we're okay, um, we can now click the Generate the Invite link. Dito sa Guest Invite link, ito yung link na ikakopy natin and then send dun sa phone na gagamitin natin. So, we can send it in any media platform like Messenger, Viber, or even sa Gmail, um, pwede naman to. So, may other option naman tayo kung ayaw naman yung sending ng link. Ito yung paggamit ng QR code. So, scan lang natin tong QR code na to. But in this tutorial, um, ikakopy lang natin yung link na to and then isa-send ko to sa Viber. So, copy. So, check na natin yung sinend natin na link dito sa Viber. Pagka-tap natin, mariredirect tayo dito sa obs.ninja. Then, click yung share your camera. Click allow dito sa prompt message na to. By default, may kita natin or activated yung front camera natin. But we can change naman yung video source. So, pwedeng gamitin natin yung back camera or yung disable video. So, try natin yung sa back camera. So, once we click yung back camera, ito yung magiging activated. And then, yung sa audio sources, we can um, have an option naman or select yung no audio or yung sa... Um, iPhone microphone or sa Android mac microphone na gagamitin natin. And then once we're done, sa setup, click lang yung start button. So, activated na yung video natin dito. Then, balik lang tayo dito sa my obs.ninja guys. And then, um, dito sa OBS browser, yung source link, copy lang natin to. And then, for our last step na guys, open natin yung OBS studio natin. Then, mag-create tayo ng browser source. Then, rename natin yung source name natin. So, once we're okay with our source name, click OK button. And then, dito sa link or sa URL, dito natin ipipaste yung link na nakuha natin dun sa OBS Ninja. And then, by default, dito sa width at sa height, Yung sa width is um, 1080 and then sa height is 1920. So, ito yung screen resolution ng phone camera na gagamitin nyo. And then, click OK. And then, yung dito, napapansin nyo is matagal nag-load kasi it varies 
yung sa or it var yung sa my internet connection natin so once we have a slow internet connection of course um magkakaroon tayo ng medyo delayed dito sa pagload ng um video na to so ayan ito na yung um video or yung na capture ng phone camera natin or yung external webcam natin so we can resize naman yung video so drag lang natin to so ayan na guys kitang kita na yung um phone camera natin and then para magkaroon tayo ng um, comparison check natin yung sa internal na webcam na nasa desktop or laptop ayan then click ok then resize yung video naman and then dito sa dito sa left side na screen guys ito yung sa my phone camera or external webcam and then dito sa right side is yung sa internal camera and then pag ganyan okay na tayo mag start um, streaming gamit yung external phone camera natin so if you have any security concerned about um, using yung obs.ninja um, okay yung alala guys kasi yung video stream is encrypted naman with DTLS encryption so um, it means na dito kumukuha ng mga data collection or data tracking so good talaga gamitin si obs.ninja so that's it yung tutorial for today guys so i hope you learned something and if you have any suggestions on my next video um, you can comment down below and please don't forget to click the subscribe button and like button as well and para magiging updated ka sa mga bagong uploaded videos ko just click yung notification bell and again thank you and see you on my next video